Well, you know what? I, because just to take my mind off things, I've been making a lot of videos because I've been going into the doctors to get a uh, testing because of that infection I had. They're giving me this really intense medication. I know none of you care about this crap, but I have to go in every other day for blood tests to make sure my kidneys aren't shutting down, failing, renal failure. So, you know, to take my mind off all this horse crap that's going on, I've been making videos. And I am getting no comments about the videos. Nothing. One guy asking, where's the shred? And I said, I cut it out because everybody complains when I just shred. Then I made two sloppy, shreddy videos and nothing. I'm getting nothing. So, who cares? You know what? I'll tell you a video. I'll tell you a video. I'll tell you a story. One time I was walking home from school. I saw Randy Rhodes driving down the street, across the street in front of me. I said, hey, Randy. And he said, hey. I said, can you stop a minute? And he did. This isn't the picture story. There's another one exactly like this where I actually took a picture of him. And it's up there. If you go to the Randy Rhodes and I documentary outtake thing, that picture of him smiling is the picture I took. But it was my first year in Photoshop doing developing negatives. That's why it looks like crap. Anyway, so he stops. I go, you know what? I don't know if I should be even playing guitar. You know, this, you know, I'm not that good. I mean, I'm all right at rhythm, but I think I'd be a better bass player. You know, the lead thing bugs me. I don't like, you know, all this so he pulls the car over, he gets out, he sits down on the curb with me, puts his arm around me, and says, this is how, this is what you got to do, Mike, Michael. He says, you've got to practice, practice, practice. If you want to be good at anything, it requires a lot of practicing. He said he practiced a lot. And that that was what I needed to do. If I wanted to be a good guitar player, which I, I don't know if I ever... When I was playing a lot, I got really good fast. And then when I stop, it goes away really fast. But he was right. So, just... So there you go. He pulls over, gets out, sits down on the curb, puts his arm around me, and tells me this. I don't know how old I was. I was like 16, I think. I don't know. So one of the when he was back home between whatever, doing Aussie stuff. So there you go. There's a story I haven't told. I just said, Randy once told me, practice, practice, practice. He also said that in a lesson. But there you go. Right there. And that was right down the street right down where I live or I lived when I was growing up pulled over got out of the car sat next to me put his arm around me and told me to practice 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 and he talked a little bit about other stuff because I you know I said well since he's here I might as well ask him some other stuff it had nothing to do with guitar or anything that you guys would really be interested in I don't think maybe but that's between me and him, actually. There's some stuff I want to keep private. I think you get that, right? All right. So for Halloween, this Halloween's coming up. It's like a couple days away. There. My pinky is painted black. That's all you're getting. That's all anybody's getting. I'm going to a Halloween party tonight. Oh, you know, so there you go. I'm going dressed as a as an old washed up wannabe rocker. <laughs> so I don't have to dress up that way. Okay, that's it. There's your story. Like it or not. That's all you're getting tonight. Or I can tell you, you know, there's another no, you know what? No. Until I get more comments and more feedback from you guys, that's it. End of stories. The end.
play very well, but see ya. You know what I usually say? Why? Why should I even say anything? <laughs>